everybody, this is Christy Marie Gott. I'm going to walk you through the steps to create a custom header for a WordPress blog. These steps will work whether you're using WordPress.com or WordPress.org. Right now we're looking at the header for a WordPress.org blog that I have. And I'll show you another one that has a different style header. You might want to use one that has mostly text, like the DaVinci Internet Marketing header that you just saw, or you might want to use a header like this, where I've got a series of collages that I made. I then put those collages into another collage and uploaded them to make this header. Now, if you are going to need to look for graphics, you, you can either use graphics that you already have or that you've created or photos that you have or you can go to Google Images and search for photos and graphics just to show you how I do that I've typed in the word scroll clicked on images and as you can see we have a lot of scrolls if I want to download one I put my mouse over it right click and go down here where it says save picture as and I usually save them to my desktop I won't save this one because I've already got it but you would click save now the next thing that you would need to have on your computer is the free software from Google called Picasa which is a free graphics photo editing and video editing program I use this to make the clusters of pictures and text that I use for the headers. We'll go over now and look at Picasa and you can see a lot of the different graphics and photos that I have. Uh, let's just pretend we're going to make a header that will have a YouTube logo. I click on that logo. It shows up over here in the lower left in the tray and then I click this green button to hold it there let's go ahead and add Twitter Facebook uh, an email icon how about an icon for keywords and one for SEO and of course one for WordPress okay we're gonna we're gonna put all those into a an imaginary example of a header now I go over here where it says collage at the bottom in the center I click on that and all of these graphics turn up now I'm gonna click on SEO and as you can see I can slide these around and they have a little handle so I put my mouse on the handle and press in and I can make it smaller and I'm gonna go ahead and make each one of these a lot smaller And you're probably wondering um, how a square collage is going to fit into a WordPress header. And we're going to have to cut um, a horizontal strip from this collage that will then fit into the header. I'm going to show you a couple more things you can do in the collage maker. Um, you can change the background color. You can make it green. As you can see, I'm uh, moving my mouse, changing all these different choices. Uh, you can also use one of the images as a background. There's a Facebook image as a background there. I prefer these days to just use a solid white image. The trends on the web are, uh, especially with mobile devices these days they're trying to make web design so that the websites the headers are simple easy to read easy to see now I'm just dragging these down to the bottom because later we're going to cut this off and just use a strip this is not a fancy header but I'm just showing you and as you can see now that's white 
If we did want to make it, we could make it gray. Th those do show up well on gray. We'll stick for white just for today. Now I go over here on the left and click on Create Collage. All right. Now, uh, if you wanted to add text, I could click on that and see this popped up. I could add some text. We could say um, custom header practice. And to make that easier to read, why don't I make it black? And I could make it bold. And we can change. You see all the, we can slide up and down and change all the different types of text. Let's just use Arial Black. And we can even tilt that if we want to. I'm just, I'm going to make this sort of a scrambled header. Then I go over here and I click Apply. There we are. Now I'm going to crop this. So in the upper left, in these uh, editing devices, I click. And um, as you can see, I'm uh, outlining that. So it'll be roughly the shape. The reason is that when we get to the WordPress software, you'll be able to cut this further to fit. OK, I'm going to apply. There it is. Now I'm going to save that on my desktop. I'll click on desktop and I'll call it practice header custom. Okay, I click save. All right, I'm going to minimize this. Now let's go to uh, let's we'll pretend we're going to upload that to this. This is a WordPress.com blog, but the WordPress.org upload for a custom header is the same. Let's go into my Studio Media Cam. All right. Now, over here on the left where it says Appearance, down here you see where it says Header. Click on that. OK. Now you can see that the old header is showing up. I'm going to click Browse, Desktop. And let's look for our custom header. OK, practice custom header. I click on that and click Open. I click Upload. OK. And as you can see, there's a dotted line that outlines the shape that you'll need for your header. And it happens to just fit this header that I had cut out. Now, if I click here on Crop and Publish, later I'll go back and I'll redo my header. <laughs> You can see it, it shows up, and I can then click Save These Changes. And when I go up here in my dashboard and click on the name of my WordPress blog, voila, there is our new custom header. Now, uh, I'm going to emphasize that adding a custom header will help to identify your particular brand your particular niche, and you can also, uh, as I did, you can use text in your header that will add additional explanation to the WordPress title. Thank you very much for watching my video, and good luck with your WordPress custom headers.